Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, if you've got the book, How the Crayon Saved the Rainbow, go get it so that you can follow along. This is a level three one book for my level people. Here's our title page, How the Colors Saved the Rainbow. Written, or their author, is Monica Sweeney, and it's illustrated by Friona Parker Thomas. The sun and the clouds were best friends. They worked together to keep the earth warm and gardens growing. But of all the things they did together, their favorite was making rainbows so that the whole world was ha colorful and happy. Then one day, the sun and the clouds had a big fight. The clouds were blocking the sun and the sun couldn't shine through to the earth. The sun went sizzle, sizzle, sizzle at the clouds. And the clouds went clap, bang, boom, back. They started raining, didn't they? They stopped being friends and were never in the sky together again. When the, with the sun and clouds far apart, it was scorching hot on some days and damp and cold on others. And worst of all, there were no more rainbows. Without rainbows, the flowers, streams, and even cities started to lose their color. Soon, the earth was black and white. But in one little town, in one little school, in one little desk, was one little forgotten box of crayons. And the crayons still had their colors. The desk rattled. It shook, clabbered, and clanked. All of a sudden, it toppled over and the box of crayons tumbled out. with me. Hey, where are all the colors? The crayons started to search for the colors. They raided marker bins and tore through art projects, but everything as far as they could see was only black and white. Who made all the colors go away? This is so sad. This is terrible. What about daffodils and butter? If oranges aren't orange, do I even exist? The crayons looked out the window. The sun was all the way to one side of the sky looking angry. And the clouds were all the way to the other, looking gloomy. I miss all of the colors. We can't even draw rainbows together now. Wait, that's it. We need to save the rainbows. So, 
the crayons started drawing little rainbows all over their town. But nothing happened. The sun and the clouds didn't seem to notice. We have to make our rainbows bigger, Violet said, working together. The crayons drew and scribbled. They made bi the biggest, brightest, most colorful rainbow the world had ever seen. Ever so slowly, the sun perked up and the clouds floated in for a closer look. The sun and the clouds both peered down, admiring the giant rainbow that the cut crayons had drawn. What bright colors, said the sun. It's incredible, said the clouds. They looked at each other with great big smiles. The sun said to the clouds, remember when we used to be together all the time and make rainbows? The clouds nodded. I'm sorry for going clout bang boom at you. I'm sorry for going sizzle, sizzle, sizzle at you, said the sun. It's better being friends, said the sun, and the clouds agreed. They hugged. The sun shined brightly, and the clouds mist, misted happily rain. Ever so slowly, rainbows reappeared near and far, turning the world colorful once again. Now, have you ever been mad at someone and it really wasn't worth being mad at? And you had to decide it wasn't that big of a deal because our colors, it's a lot easier to be happy than it is sad. You have to work at being sad and grouchy. So the rainbows the crayons, we love our color, all colors, in all things. I hope you enjoyed this book. And in a world without color, it's up to one little box. It could be up to you to make it a brighter day. You make this a bright day for you and everyone else around you. Tell me in your comments about a day that you made people bright. Have a great day. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that blue button because make my day. Subscribe and be my friend. Have a great one.